A man who spent 16 years in prison for a crime he didn't commit was killed during a traffic stop in Georgia on Monday. The Sheriff's Department says a county deputy pulled over 53-year-old Leonard Cure for speeding and reckless driving and asked him to get out of his car. They say Cure complied until he learned he was being arrested. The state's Bureau of Investigation says that's when the deputy tased Cure and Cure assaulted the officer. The struggle continued and the deputy eventually fatally shot Cure. We are now one of those families. How unfortunate is that? They're now investigating the incident, and so far, the deputy has not been placed on leave. Cure was freed and exonerated for a 2003 armed robbery back in 2020. My brother was an exceptional individual. My brother mattered to us. Since his release, he's been working in security and was recently trying to buy his first house. And my condolences goes out to this guy's family. For the simple fact, he dealt with the law in the worst way possible. Anybody would want to... You know what I'm saying? To deal with the law. Went to jail and now y'all killed him. We don't know exactly all the details, but just even if he was trying to get away, he's traumatized because of all the years y'all took from him, you know? And then just to hear that the police officer is not, you know, is not taking, you know what I'm saying? How they say a paid leave, as they always give him a paid leave. Which in situations like that, they shouldn't even get fucking paid. You know what I'm saying? But y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this whole situation. This video out of New Mexico is absolutely heartbreaking. Watch as body cam shows police and Roswell rush towards a home. Responding to a shooting, a father tries to kick in the door, followed by the cops. I'm not sure I was cleaning up. Inside, they find that a sleeping 10-year-old girl had been struck by a bullet. That's looking. We got cross for a second, but then we lost it, yeah. Moments later, their mother comes home from work. They're working on her. What do you mean they're working on her? What happened to her? What the f*** happened? You can't do this to me, f*** you! My child is gone! The dad and a child then explain to the mom what went down. What happened? What do you mean she got shot? Where? It turns out the girl's 10-year-old brother had gotten his hands on his dad's gun. He and a friend were playing with it in the dad's bedroom when the gun went off. Did I get a gun from you idiot? I told you I was cleaning up. Everything should have been in the safe. I don't know what the f*** did y'all get one of those? The mom begins to lose it. Get this kid the f*** Please, God, please, God, let my kid go. Soon, cops tell her the reality of the situation. Please tell me my daughter's gonna be okay. She's not? She has a, a gunshot wound right here. Are you serious to her head? Right kind of where her neck meets her head. The little girl was taken to the hospital, but she died the following day. This all went down back in August, but the footage was just released. Days after all this went down, the dad was arrested under Benny's Law, a new law in New Mexico that holds irresponsible gun owners accountable for allowing a child to get a hold of a gun and use it. You do have a warrant. The officer told you that. It's for leaving the gun out and it resulting in a death. So you're being charged with that and tampering with evidence. The dad is due back in court later this month, and it turns out he wasn't cleaning when the shooting went down. He was in the backyard with his friends. It's not clear which of the boys fired the gun.